Hi, this is Andrew for Geek News Central, and this evening we're going to be taking a look at the Sonoff USB Smart Adapter. So anyone who's got a smart home will be familiar with this. It's a smart plug and a smart socket, and you can use it from your smart home software, say Samsung SmartThings, to control lamps and other items that perhaps aren't available in a kind of a smart ecosystem or you can't get a smart bulb for it. So they're pretty handy. But quite often we see things that use USB connections and you know whilst you can obviously have a smart plug connected to your USB power adapter uh, this allows you to control the individual item explicitly. So let's get it out of the box, have a look, uh, get it paired up with our smart home system and see how we get on. Should be straightforward. Uh, just to say as well these are relatively inexpensive, they're about £12 on Amazon so uh, potentially a useful solution uh, for your USB devices. Okay, back in a second. To confirm what you get in the box, we've got the Sonoff USB smart adapter here. So that's got USB-A throughout with the plug at that end and the, uh, the socket at this end, on off button and lights on the side. You've got a QR code, which can be useful if you're having difficulty getting the uh, app to recognize the device. You've got some pretty simple instructions, and then you just have a little quality control thing here. I kind of think it'd be useful if they actually put their URL on the uh, on the, on the piece of cardboard, a bit of publicity, it's sonoff.tech. Now, handily, I have two different USB power adapters here, so we can kind of see what some of the issues are. Now, as you can see, it's quite a big unit, and if we plug it in here, as always, you get it the wrong way around the first time, uh, fits in quite nicely, and um, you're going to have that in the wall. Now, because this is a single socket, you're not blocking any, blocking any USB ports, but I can kind of see that as soon as you try to start trying to see you something like this, you potentially, you might just squeeze it in there, but you definitely lost that one here. So one little issue with the uh, Sonoff Smart USB adapter. So let's, it's got a bit of cellophane on this, so let's just get this off if I can. There we go. And what we'll try and do is, um, I've got some, uh, I've got a power lead, extension lead, plug it all in, and we'll get it paired up with Samsung Smart Things and see how we get on. Right, so I think I've got everything that I need to connect the Sonoff USB Smart Adapter through to Smart Things. Now, it, this isn't going to be a straightforward connection, and that's because the Sonoff is a, a Wi Fi device, uh, not Zigbee or Z Wave, which is what Smart Things supports natively. So, what we're going to have to do is use the uh, manufacturer supported app, which is this EWE link to initially connect up the device, and then we can use an integration in the cloud between SmartThings and EWE Link so that the Smart USB adapter appears in the SmartThings ecosystem. So there's two gotchas that I need to kind of make you aware of from doing this over the years. One is make sure that when you, you start, your phone is on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So that's the uh, 11 BGN kind of mode. Uh, and this is because the soft doesn't it doesn't support the five gigahertz, you know, your 11 AC. And at some point, it'll want to hand over the password for the 2.4 gigahertz to the soft. And if you've got it connected up to the 5G, it just makes it more difficult. So do that. And then the other thing is, if you do you if you are using a VPN, I suggest you turn it off. I've just found that it seems to get in the way of some of the the integrations and the pairing and all that kind of stuff. So just a recommendation that you do that. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start up the EWE Link app. Uh, here it is here. Now I've, I've, um, I've kind of used this in the past, so I've signed up for all the usernames and passwords and you might need to do that. But let's plug this in. Now this should go into pairing mode and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but you can kind of see the little white out, light, light flashing quickly. So let's get going. So add this. We're going to do a quick pairing. Just going to do one device. Okay, so you can kind of see my network, and you can also see my password here, but I'll have to uh, erase that before we go any further. So confirm that. Okay, so we're clocking down, and it's... Uh, okay, so what it wants me to do is it wants me to connect to that Wi-Fi network manually. So I'm going to go into Wi-Fi. There it is there. And if I step back into the app, okay. 
So you can kind of see here it's looking at the device, getting the device info and registering the device. Come on, give it a chance. You're nearly there. Yep, so there we go. So that's it done. So at this point here, you can choose to rename it if you want. So I'm just going to call it a USB. And you can add it to certain rooms at a time. I'm just going to set it to uh, the living room for now. That's that done. Okay, and at the moment it says that it's off. And if I turn it back on again, you can turn between the two. Now at the moment that's not really visual, so if you just hold on a second, I'm going to get something to make this a bit more visual. So to make this a bit more visual, I've got a um, faux neon sign here. I'm going to plug it in here, if I get it in the right way around. Okay, and now we turn it on, and we can turn it off. So that's definitely working. Now that bit's straightforward enough. We've got it working with the manufacturer's app easily enough, as you'd expect. So let's just see if we can get this also working within SmartThings. Now, I've already kind of connected this up a wee bit through SmartThings. So if I go into the section here where it has, where have I gone? Linked services is what you need, linked services. And in here, I already have, you can kind of see EWE Link Smart Home. And normally you would have to, um, you know, at this point here, you'd be able to give them the opportunity to put in usernames and passwords. As it is at the moment, it shows off the name of the devices that are currently built in. So that micro one is the one that we're talking about here. That's this. It hasn't yet picked up the, I think we changed it to micro USB. What I find is sometimes is that these things just take a little bit of time to come through. But if we go back, now we'll probably find that this has been put into the kind of no room assigned one. So let's have a look for, so yes, so here it is here. You see micro off at the moment. Again, if we hit it here, hopefully it'll take a moment and there it is, it comes back on again. So as you can kind of see, we've got this successfully connected from smart through, from smart things through EWE link to the son offs, son off. Uh, it's an easy mistake to make. But as you can see, great and very handy. Uh, and it all works fine. The previous uh, setup here really wasn't doing justice to the Sonoff USB smart adapter. So I've changed the configuration. What we've got is the adapter here now being powered by a um, USB battery pack. And we will still see all the same functions as we did before, but you can actually just see them a bit better. And we'll see if we can actually show some in a bit more detail as well. So if you remember, we had it all working from SmartThings, turning it on, turning it off. That's great. Now, what we can also see is there's a little button here on the smart adapter, and it too, if you don't have your uh, phone handy, you can just press the button and it will turn the sign, or in this case, the sign on and off. Now, what I'm actually going to turn the light, I'm just going to turn the lighting down a bit. Um, hopefully, this, you can still see it, but you can kind of see there's two little lights there. You've got one steady one to kind of show that the adapter is powered up and it's connected. Now, you should just be able to see the light next to it. If I get my fat fingers out of the way, it changes ever so slightly to show that the light is on and off. It just seems to kind of slightly move from one side and there's a very faint pinkish light there. Certainly not a huge amount to, to talk about, but uh, it is actually there. Let's wrap this up. The Sonoff USB smart adapter is going to fill a niche for those people who want to be able to control USB devices uh, from their smart home or otherwise remotely. It's certainly not going to be for everyone. I mean, most people will get away with using uh, a standard um, smart plug, uh, but for those people who need it, this is a great solution. If you want to know more, Sonoff have their website. Uh, it's at sonoff.tech. That's sonoff.tech. I'll, I'll put it into the video. Um, and you can get them from Amazon for a penny under £12. I think it's you know, fa fairly priced for what it is. Uh, and in comparison with other smart sockets and things like that. It is a Wi-Fi device, so you do have that intermediate step of having to connect it to the other app and then connect smart things or uh, whatever other smart home system you've got through to that app. But it seems to work fine. I've had no problems at all. So that's it. Thanks very much. It's been a pleasure. If this has been useful, please do like and subscribe and check us out at Geek News Central as well. Thanks very much. Bye.